You see that guy? Something attacked the bobber. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! This is a nice one. Here's one, guys. Oh, look at this. Oh! What's going on guys? Today I'm doing some creek fishing again. I'm at a different place than where I was in the last video. If you want to check that video out, I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, today I'm targeting smallmouth bass. And I'm going to show you guys my setup, the bait I use, and I'll give you guys some tips on how to catch smallmouth bass in the creek. It's an absolutely beautiful day to go fishing. It's like 75 degrees. Uh, the water is perfect. It's really warm. Um, there's no mosquitoes and um, it should be a really good day of fishing, so let's get on with it. All right guys, I just arrived at the first spot and I'll show you my setup for today. So today I'm using a slip bobber setup. Just real simple styrofoam slip bobber, split shot sinker, and I'm using fathead minnows. I got medium sized minnows. I find that for smallmouth and really other types of fish in rivers and creeks, minnows work really well. I definitely recommend um, trying minnows sometime if you're used to using artificials. Other types of baits that work really good in creeks and rivers for smallmouth are the, um, you know, like a Ned rig with an eco helgramite. MEPS spinners work really good, small spinner baits. Um, leeches but really what works the best for me are minnows definitely there's something something back there here we go guys Ooh. Is it? Is it a bass? It's a smallmouth. Oh yeah, it's a nice little smally. Not a river beast, but I'll take it. And caught him right between those those logs. Better look. The release. Yeah, there's one guys. There's one. Whoa. Nice smally. Oh, there goes my minnow. So I would definitely recommend if you have any local creeks. to do some exploring because you might think that uh, it's too shallow and there's no fish in there but I mean obviously these are not gigantic smallmouth but they're still a lot of fun to catch and you'd be surprised what's in what's living in your local creek really all you got to do is just Go from hole to hole, you know, find the deeper water, bring some live bait or bring a, like I said uh, before, um, Ned rigs work really good. 
I, I've used Ned rigs before, caught a lot of smallmouth uh, using the Nico Helgramite. That's an awesome bait. Um, you know, a real small little Ned rig setup with a small 1 16th ounce sinker jig. And um, what else? Meps. Caught a lot of smallmouth using Meps. They love Meps the Aglia, the Meps Aglia. That one is really good. Small spinner baits, rooster tails. You can use worms too, but the problem with worms is then you get all the small, little tiny, you know, uh, chubs and panfish and stuff will clean off your hook too, too, too many times. Whereas minnows, you're, you're more likely to be catching bass and bigger fish most of the time. It's a multi-species bait. That's the one thing I like about using minnows. Oh, there's another one, guys. Ooh, got a nice jump. That's what I love about catching smallmouth. You get those awesome jumps. Let's get over here, get situated. Dude, I'm cast back in that right on the edge of the shade. There's a bunch of bricks on the bottom. There's one. There's one. Oh yeah, this is. This might be bigger than the other one. I'm not sure yet. Oh yeah, that's a that's a bigger one. That's a nice one. Get him up on the shore here. All on a fathead minnow, medium size. At the release, get a better shot of the release, so you guys can see. Beautiful fish. It looks like there's a deep hole there. And that looks really fishy under that tree. I'm going to take some casts here. Let's see what we got going on. All right, I got a fresh minnow. I'm going to throw it right under that tree in the shade. That's the water definitely drops off there. It looks like it's pretty deep. It's got to be something under that under that tree, you would think. Ooh, 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 you see that guy? Something attacked the bobber. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is a nice one. Oh yeah. Well, that's a nice small mouth. Nice one. 
put up a nice fight. Police. Little creek fishing tip, if you are fishing with live bait, minnows, you can tie off a rope so you don't have to carry the minnow bucket the whole way. Then just kind of tow it behind you like that in the water. Or you can, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll tie it around my waist. And then that way if you're out in the middle of the, of the river, the creek, uh, you don't have to walk all the way back to the shore. You just, you got the minnow bucket right next to you. So you just pull it closer and grab another minnow. Um, but I don't have mine tied off right now. And there's the current is not too swift here. So I'm just leaving it to the side. I'm not walking way out into the middle of the, of the creek, but uh, that's a, a good way to have quick access to your minnows. But I'm gonna cast right back into that same spot again. Cause as soon as the uh, minnow hit the water almost, it was right away. Whoa, whoa, did you guys see that? That was crazy, a fish just came up and tried to slam it. I think this is this is a good spot here. I pulled it in too quick. Because what happened was is I accidentally cast it over a log over there and then I, I didn't want it to get snagged. So I, when I pulled it over the log, as soon as the minnow flopped over the log and hit the water, the bass came up and tried to tried to grab it. So right there, I threw it right back where I caught that bass. Hopefully there's another one, huh? Go right back in there. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah, here's one. Here's one, guys. Ooh, look at this. Oh, oh yeah. This is a nice one. It's another smallmouth. Oh yeah. Very nice. He's peeling drag a little bit. them this is a nice bass i think this is probably the biggest one of the day so far this one for sure it's chunky try to get him up by the shore and he slammed that minnow oh yeah that's a nice bass guys it's a nice small mouth Nice one. Right back in that hole. I'm gonna stay here for a while. Still got quite a few minnows left. So check that out. Very nice. Beautiful fish. Just love the eye and just the pretty colors. So do the release. You ready? Come on, buddy. Awesome. That was fun. Let's get another one, guys. There's got to be another one in there. I think this is a hot spot here. There's some deep water back in there. I, I set the depth a little bit deeper to get, get it closer to the bottom. Yeah, something's down there. Oh, Aubrey's going down, guys. It's going down a little bit. I got something. I think it's another bass. Yeah, it's another smallmouth. Nice. It's not as big as the other one, but I'll take it. So this is the honey hole for sure here. Still got my minnow, that's a bonus. Whoops, oh, there he goes. 
Oh, already, guys, already. Oh, we got another one. It's a little one. Hey, dear guy. Relax, relax. Definitely the smallest one of the day, but still a bass. All right, let's catch some more. And the other thing I was gonna say for creek fishing, another creek fishing tip, is to always wear water shoes, or just at least an old pair of gym shoes that you don't care about wearing in the water. So far, all smallmouth. And that's what I'm after. But it'd be awesome to uh, hook into a nice northern or a big catfish. Oh. oh, there's another one. Oh, this is a nice one. This is another nice one. Oh, wow, he got off. He got off. He got off. That sucks. That was a big one. You could hear my reel. hook into that one again that was a nice bass that was the that would have been the biggest one of the day for sure that was a big bass I could I could see the body flashing in the water and it was large of course I stirred up the water with the one that I missed but I'm gonna cast it even further back into there how about there huh look at that way back in there it's got to be a monster back in there Oh yeah, bobber down, bobber down. Is it a bass? Catfish. You got a channel cat. It's the first catfish of the day. All right. Rope, 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 rope. without getting stung. It's a little guy. Hit the minnow pretty hard though. All right, I'm gonna let him go. All right, I'm in the same spot, but I moved over a little bit just to get a, a different angle. Try it right down there. Oh, I got something, guys. That's something tiny. Oh, look at that. It's a sunfish. I lost my minnow. Beautiful colors. You see on the face. throw it in that shaded area back there. A little, a little too swift. Man, guys, I got a nice one here. I think it's a catfish. Yeah, it's a catfish.
Oh yeah. It's a nice channel cat. So that's the thing that's awesome about using minnows is it's it's a multi-species bait. Oh yeah. Nice channel cat. get stung here. All right. All right. All right, we'll get the release. Oh man, it is muddy here in this part of the creek. goes put up a nice fight I'll throw it right over there Oh, he got off. That was a nice one too. I saw it. I saw the body. It was. It looked like a bass. It was. It looked like a big one. So I'm gonna put another minnow on and throw it back over there. Sometimes they come back, not always. Here we go, guys. He came back. I don't know if it's a cell. Oh, yeah, it's a smallmouth. Nice. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found it helpful. You learned some tips on how to catch smallmouth bass uh, creek fishing. You can see that the simple slip arbor setup that I use is very effective. I caught several bass, and some were pretty big. Uh, that catfish was really nice that I caught. And uh, so if you're looking to try something different, maybe you've been using artificial stuff, you want to change it up, uh, I would definitely recommend just getting a slip bobber, uh, grab a hook, a slip bobber, a sinker, grab some minnows and head out to your local creek, find some holes and you'll, you'll probably catch bass, you'll catch something. Um, I always ha have success when I go fishing with live bait using a slip bobber. It's one of my favorite ways to fish ever since I was a kid. I just love watching the bobber disappear. It's just it's so exciting. Uh, if you fish with bobbers and you, you know what I'm talking about, it's you just can't beat the feeling, the excitement of just watching that bobber go down. It's just one of my favorite ways to fish. I love fishing in creeks and rivers. And so anyways, uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.